No one could keep Conor McGregor out of the fight world, even with a broken leg. And now, since he's pretty much done recovering from the gruesome injury, Conor has been talking a lot of smack. But he's backing it up, too. The former UFC champion recently shared a video of himself throwing absolute bombs with his fists. It's starting to look like Conor is ready for the ultimate comeback. Stay tuned as we give you the latest on Conor McGregor and the UFC. First up, a champion's dedication. Now, there's no doubt that Conor got a bit carried away when he started making some serious bucks at the UFC. During the early days of his career, Conor would literally predict how he's going to knock guys out and then go on and do just that in the octagon. It wasn't until later that the Notorious started talking about tailored suits and supercars that his fighting sort of went down. He'd get obliterated inside the octagon and then still show up in a Gucci fur coat looking all clean and classy. Conor has denied on many occasions that the money hasn't changed him, but it doesn't help when you haven't won a fight since 2016. But after seeing his latest video on Twitter, we have to agree that his dedication has been through the roof. He's looking really fit and agile. The way he's moving on that once broken leg looks like he's recovered physically and mentally. And honestly speaking, we've seen a lot of fighters physically recover from broken bones, but it's the mental recovery that's the hard part. And it looks like he's done a really good job. And after looking at his Twitter, you can tell that the Notorious is still really confident. I'm gonna break heads with these, the caption Connor wrote on his most recent video on Twitter. And he did have boxing gloves on, which is kind of weird. But anyway, that three punch combo he threw looked vicious. But Connor's punching has always been superior in the promotion. He's a balanced fighter, but let's not forget that the fighter squared up against one of the greatest boxers of this generation. Punching comes naturally to McGregor. So what really matters is how well his leg will hold up once he returns to the octagon. Because when you think about it, 12 to 18 minutes of complete physical exertion and constant moving around will take its toll on that leg. Not to mention that his leg is pretty much his weakness now. The day McGregor steps inside the octagon, his opponent will know that if he wants to win the mental game against McGregor, just target the leg. Keep throwing leg kicks and he will eventually give in. But what he did in the video was really impressive. We can't take that away from him, but we'll be even more impressed the day he posts a video of him throwing a spinning kick with that leg. Nevertheless, it's been an amazing recovery for the king of the promotion. We've seen a champion's dedication. Next, a new weight class. If you've seen the video, you can probably tell Connor is still pretty agile despite putting on a lot of muscle mass. He's noticeably heavier, but if you've been following McGregor's comeback for some time now, it isn't really a surprise. Connor has been eyeing a comeback in the welterweight division. He's already been a two-weight UFC champion, and in a recent tweet, he expressed interest in becoming the only three-weight UFC champion in the world. But honestly speaking, it doesn't really look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Kamaru Usman is the welterweight champion of the UFC. He's the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the entire division. The guy's a beast, and he has more power than Conor at the moment. Conor will only get that fight if Dana and Kamaru want it. And anyway, why don't we think it's going to happen anytime soon, you might be wondering? It's not like Kamaru doesn't want to fight McGregor or something. Well, because because it's most probably going to end up being a scheduling conflict. Oh, and let's not forget all the heat Dana will get from UFC fans. Kamaru is being lined up for a title defense against the infamous undefeated Kamzat Chemaev. Of course, Kamzat will have to fight a couple of times before getting a shot at Kamaru. But if McGregor were to get there before him, that wouldn't sit too well with the promotion or fans. Fans and fighters already claim that Dana has always given McGregor something called Dana privilege. Now, a broken jaw. A lot of fighters, and fans too, think that Connor shouldn't make his comeback against Kamaru Usman, and it's probably because Kamaru will annihilate Connor inside the octagon. Even Michael Bisping thinks that it'll probably be the biggest mistake of Connor's career, and Bisping didn't hold back on the details either. Last time around, Connor broke his leg, and this time around, if he fights Kamaru, he'll be breaking his jaw. Bisping doesn't think that it's an impossible fight, though. He thinks it might actually happen down the road. And if you ask us, all we'll say is that Kamaru is called the Nigerian Nightmare for a reason. He's huge for the welterweight division, and even though McGregor has put on a lot of muscle, he still looks small compared to Kamaru Usman. And maybe Connor does have a little advantage of being really agile and precise, but if Kamaru gets him on the ground, it won't be a long fight. In a side-by-side -side comparison, Kamaru dominates McGregor in most attributes. But that doesn't mean we don't want to see the fight. We'd love to see these two fighters meet each other in the octagon. And to be fair, we do have a tiny bit of hope for McGregor. Think about it. McGregor making a comeback and taking down the undefeated UFC welterweight champion of the world? What a sight. Now, in other UFC news, a smashing fight. Remember how everyone thought Kamzat would fold the day he took on someone from the top 10? Well, guess what? He took on the second-ranked welterweight of the division and won. Guess he's finally silenced his critics once and for all. But still, it was a crazy fight. And despite winning by unanimous decision, Kamzat really took a beating. Gilbert Burns certainly left his mark on Kamzat. And after the match, Kamzat had a huge cut underneath his eyes, along with a few bruises here and there. But still, what matters is he won. So what's next? for the 
undefeated fighter? Well, a lot of fighters think that he shouldn't consider taking on Kamaru just yet. And after this fight with Burns, it doesn't look like he's ready to be honest. He still needs to work on a couple of things. But that hasn't really stopped Kamzat from being iconic though. After the fight, he said that Gilbert was weak and that he expected more from him. Kind of odd, Kamzat. Go look in the mirror and wipe that blood off your face first. We're guessing he'll probably be taking on Kobe Covington before getting a shot at the title match. Kobe v. Kazma. That will be the real fight. The decider. Next, the featherweight goat. After destroying the Korean zombie at UFC 273, Alexander Volkanovsky is already on a path to derail Kamaru Usman as the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the entire promotion. He's already the goat of the featherweight division, and make no mistake, he's extended his title defense to three in a row, all whilst maintaining his perfect record of 21-0. And except for Conor McGregor, the great has knocked out almost every big name in the division. But still, Volkanovsky shows all the signs of a legendary fighter. He thinks he still needs to put in a lot of work before being the goat of the featherweight division. Adesanya disagrees, though. He thinks Volkanovsky has already done enough to earn the status of the greatest featherweight fighter of all time. Lastly, the perfect retirement. Coming back to the notorious, what if he told you there's still a way for McGregor to make his comeback and exit as a fan favorite, loved by not just MMA fans, but by YouTubers and influencers all over the world? You probably already know what we're about to say, but we'll say it anyways. Conor McGregor should just fight Jake Paul. In a recent video, Jake Paul challenged McGregor that after six months of MMA training, he could easily knock his head off in the octagon. Believe us when we tell you this, McGregor would have no trouble beating the life out of Jake Paul. It gets McGregor fame and money, the two things he wants the most. And it definitely makes him the fan favorite, the guy who finally shut up the YouTuber. Personally, we don't really think that Connor would ever fight Jake Paul for his comeback fight. He'd surely want to make a statement first. But please, Connor, consider the fight after you've made your official comeback. That's it from our side, folks. So, what do you think? Will McGregor be able to make a dream comeback to the UFC? Should he start with someone else before challenging Kamaru Usman? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.